Welcome to Nicole and Omar Hate Everything. Um, we just saw Aliens Covenant. Um, it wasn't good, y'all. That was good. Can, can that be the whole review? <laughs> can that be everything right there? Can that be... So I guess first off, let's say um, spoilers. So many spoilers. All, the spo all of the spoilers. Spoilers, like spoilers to save you. To save you time and money. You wait till it's on TBS. I feel like we need to just enjoy our shit. Wait till it's on TBS or not? You wait That's till the this scoring is system. on TBS. Yes. Um, I'm not sure where to begin. So, Covenant is a colonizing mission. Isn't it always? Yeah. Literally, yes. Literally, it always is. So, there's 2,000 uh, colonizers, colony mem members on a ship. Uh, and they're in, like, deep cryosleep. And um, there's like 15, 17 crew um, who are also in cryosleep and um, uh, something happens, inciting incident, um, and they end up waking up. So the crew wakes up um, because the ship is in trouble. There's like a solar flare yeah. is kind of what it is. Yeah, and yeah. it messes up the ship. And so like all these red lights are going off and then like they wake up. Um, <laughs> I can't even. I can't even sit still. Bro. I can't even. It's getting more angry as I know we're getting to the conclusion. I'm getting. So the first thing that happens after the solar flare is that like James Franco dies. Good. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a good movie then. And I felt really bad because I was like, oh, somebody died. Oh, it was only James. James Franco. That's all. <laughs> he was in Spider-Man Three. He deserves it. It's like, oh, okay. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Tell me the thing. Tell me all the things, Nicole. So Orgai Six, mm -hmm. the planet they were going to. So you have to get back. Here's the thing: you have to get back in the cryos, the cryo sleep, and people yes. are shook because like James Franco just died. Yeah. All right, I get it. Whatever. But also like you're colonize, you're colonizer, colonizers. You're like on a colonizing mission. Mm -hmm. Cryo sleep, being in the pod for years on end, was like part of the thing that you signed up yeah. for. Like that was literally a part of the contract. So okay, you're in your feelings. Somebody died. You don't want to get okay. Okay. So, but Orgai Six though is the is the planet that they vetted for like ten years. Mm -hmm. To be like, no, we could like we can make this work. We could have a colony. Um, like we have the terraforming. Like this is what it'll be. They'll be like, like you had a plan. Yeah, and that went out the window. And then you got a ghost signal from a new planet. Now let's unpack that. Uh, should there have been a signal? No. Same answer to should we go to that planet? Still no. A so, signal singing John Denver. No is more. a sig. John Denver? So it's a human signal mm. where there should be no signal at all, no. let alone no humans. So you decide, I'm going to go investigate that. So also, I get that you're colonizers, but doesn't the fact that there's a human signal imply that maybe some people already live there? So why would you take your big ass colonizing ship to a place that all the data points to there's probably people there? They arrive on the planet and they're investigating it and they're tracking the signal down. Um, you have a medic, you got a bunch of soldiers and you got like people like, you know, farming, uh, checking out the, uh, the, the, or, the the mud and whatnot and all this shit, the, the environment and the vegetation, the foliage and whatnot. And so one woman gets left behind. They are ambiguously, ambiguously a uh, person of color gets left behind a uh, woman and she's checking out the uh, mud and whatnot. The crew goes up ahead. One dude is left, uh, one army soldier is left with her, and he steps on a spore, and the spores get all up in his shit. Why was he able to step on a spore and the sto spore to get all up in his shit? Oh, uh, wasn't he taking a dump? Uh, he, he was relieving himself oh, in some oh, fashion. Oh, oh, oh. But you know how, like, when you go to a new planet, yeah. I mean, I've never been to a new planet, but I assume if I go to a new planet, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have, like, a head a gear to filter the air, because, you know, I've never been there before. I'm a vulgar um, head gear. So, no, they were just like, Fuck that. What's like the facial equivalent of free balling? Mask off. <laughs> they were just, it was just Future, mask off. It just Fuck it, mask com off. Like commando style face. Mm -hmm. I want to breathe. <laughs> They're like, oh, no, 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 no. This oh, will make that. me stronger. I'm going to free base this air right now. I feel like you guys trained for this, and this, this, is, this is not the... Maggie preps the med bay best she can, right? Dude gets in there, he's convulsing and whatnot, and you already, you already end up, like, she opens his, he takes off his shirt, fucking, something <laughs> bursts out his back, right, blood, she's like, uh, 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 she goes and she locks the ambiguously ethnic doctor in the med bay with dude, calls up to their main ship, and is like, yo, some shit's going on, calls up to the group that's ahead, like, yo, some shit's coming on, going on, go back, she goes back in there, 
And now this alien's fucking popping out dude's back, and he's like throwing up blood and shit, and there's an alien literally coming out dude's back, and ethnically ambiguous doctor's like, all right, yo, uh, fuck all this noise, Maggie, uh, <laughs> you know when like the doors, like, you're, you're gonna, those old school cars where like you're trying to uh, unlock it, but oh, I didn't unlock it yet, don't, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to unlock, she's doing that, like, yo, Maggie, I'm, unlock, I'm Maggie, I'm, yo, Maggie, what you doing? Maggie, what you, Maggie, I can't, I can't let you out, I can't let you out. No, you actually could let her out, Maggie. You could have let her out because she wasn't infected. She wasn't, just got some blood on her. You, you could have, you could have let her out. I see what you're going for with the white tears, but you could, you could have let her out, Maggie. So now this ethnically ambiguous uh, doctor is stuck in there with the fucking alien and she has to get a dagger out and fight for her life. Maggie goes and gets a shotgun. She gets to pump shoddy, comes back. Just sees her in blood. Slips, slips in blood, mind you. Sees the <laughs> met, the doctor getting attacked. Then comes in with the shoddy after falling her ass, shooting, missing, and then goes back outside, maybe clips it a bit, and then hits the fucking... She this, hits the... No, you're forgetting. This is how inept she is. She locked the doctor oh, in there yeah, on yeah. purpose because she could have been like, let's go. Yeah. But instead, she just was like... She left like, She left her on purpose, went and got the shotgun, came back, slipped in blood. On the way back, when she was abandoning the doctor for the second time, yep. got her foot stuck in the door. Yep. Pulled it out, and then the creature got out. Oh, creature burst it up. Maggie hit a fucking pipe valve and blew the whole ship up. So Maggie is fucking trash. trash. Maggie, is, this all went down because a white woman fears and tears, dude. It is horrible. I'm like, I'm already just, I'm already hoping you all die right now. I'm already hoping you all die right now. <laughs> like if me and you went paintballing this weekend. Yeah, man. We like, would have a better military operation. Seriously, like, no, like, yo, like, and they're all talking about, I think I see something here. Like, where the fuck is, where, where's all that shit? Where's all that shit? Where, there's not one dude, like, is your military unit so trash? That yes. you managed to shoot each other, even though you had motherfucking la you had green lasers. Yes. You had green fucking snipers. Because they, they all panicked. So Maggie, who was the trash woman who accidentally blew up the ship, Disgusting. her partner was flying the actual big ship that mm -hmm. like, and like, at some point he was like, I know it's not safe. But I think I'm gonna bring this big ass ship all the way down into the atmosphere. Let's and the this. computer was like, don't do it. Don't do it. The ship can't handle it. And he was like, but Maggie. Yeah. Mm, but Maggie. We didn't leave Earth to be safe. I, I feel like that's the exact reason that's, we left Earth yeah. to be. Yeah. This is why you got to talk with your partner about it. Whenever I'm dating someone, I always like, if we're getting serious, I'm like, yo, let me know if uh, we have kids and I'm on a cliff, we fall off. I got both of you. Who am I letting go of? No, we can have another kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so so if, you, if you tell me, like, yo, let go of the kid, like. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I'm efficient. I make two at a time. We could have another kid. You know what I mean? Or, or you tell me, like, all right, like, how old is the kid? He's 15. Like, <sighs> you better hold on your damn self. <laughs> you lift yourself. Like, you you got to have those talks. You got a driver's like, permit? Yeah. Man, you better work that, like, so work if, that strength. If we're on this like, mission, right, I got to be like, yo, if I'm on the planet and it's, I get a face, like, yo, don't come back for me. No. Like, I'm no. gone. Like, just, no. nah. Like, you move on. You go. You know what I mean? Don't, nah. I'm not, I'm not that stuff. So, you go on without me. You go on without me. You know what I mean? Like, second command tells the captain to begin with, yo, let me talk to you outside. This is a bad idea. This is, I'm going to, let me, put me on the log as making a complaint. And captain's like, all right, I hear you. You're dismissed. Noted. Fuck you. How are you going to dismiss me from a meeting I called? I called this meeting because you're doing the dumb shit. You want to dismiss me? Everybody deserved to die on that. It, actually, the second didn't really deserve to die. She was kind of complaining, but she actually came through. She... Like, a woman is actually the one that actually kind of, like, she did the, in the end, she does, she, I, I, I could get, I'd give her a On the was, gradient of, like, most trash to least trash. Yeah, she was Everybody's trash. still being trash. Yeah. She's definitely on the least trash side of the spectrum. But that whole team, like, you, I've, I've never been happier to see a team, like, get murked off. I'm like, if you're, if you're, like, like, if this was dodgeball, I'd be like, you know what, I'm gonna just hit you guys my fucking self. Because this it is, was, like, let's just put us out of our own fucking misery right here. The cinematography was amazing. It though, was by the beautiful. Way. It was great. <laughs> like, cinematography. On the on the upside, Gorgeous. it was really pretty. Mm. The ships were really well designed and believable, Lovely. so the sets were really nice. Mm. The aliens themselves were like vivid and terrifying, uh, but also beautiful. Yeah, a good hint of CGI. It was like sculpted CGI, really. Mm -hmm. So Waylon and David are having this conversation, and it seems to be when David is first turned on, um, and he's having this conversation with him, like, "Who created me?" and like just kind of this nature of life. It's really, really short. 
And then later you fast forward in the movie and David and Walter are having a conversation about the nature of life and the nature of like love versus duty. Mm -hmm. Um, And that was, it could have been a short film at South by Southwest Film Festival. (laughs) Just five minutes of David and Walter talking and I would have had a better experience because their conversation was entertaining and interesting. So let's talk on the ending real fast. Motherfuckers die and they fucking deserved it. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> so in the timeline, it's Prometheus, Covenant, then Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, which I think had a subtitle, but I don't remember. Aliens 4. So like it's yeah, right. Aliens Predator? Where's that? Because that happened. I just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like Men in Black magic stick that uh, out of my. So Nia Lathan was in that one. That's my favorite. It wasn't my favorite. I like that one. Um. I think you're supposed to be rooting for these incompetent people to do well. I wasn't. Um, you're supposed to be. Um, but you kind of know that like some or all or most of them have to die in order for the canon to move forward. Um, and so that's an interesting thing. That reminded me of Rogue One because we know like none of y'all are in the movies that we grew up with. So you clearly... I'm going to give it um, three out of ten of the most selfish decisions you could possibly make. <laughs> help me, help me, but this ice cream is so delicious though. Can't you help yourself? Uh, I'm gonna give it, I'm, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna give it, this is seven competent white women running through the woods. And dropping their shotguns. Can I? Can that be my score? <laughs> seven out of what? Just seven? Oh, I just... Just like a herd of women so, running. Yeah. Yeah. There's a herd there of women no running... There's no scale. It's just, there's a, no, just it's, a There's monster. a herd of women running through, and just seven of them are just like, oh, I fell! Help me! Without, without <laughs> helmets on. <laughs> Khadija, help me! Why are you still running? Khadija, come back and help me. Oh, I can't do it myself. Will my tears save me? No, they won't. So you, you have a good day. <laughs>